Each September, the fashion world converges on New York for the presentation of the spring fashion collections. And for the third year in a row, the first night of New York Fashion Week has become Fashion's Night Out. In over 250 cities across the globe, retailers keep their doors open for after-hours shopping and events. In New York, stores all over the city participate in Fashion's Night Out, giving a wide range of shopping options, but also difficult choices. Would I spend the evening in the Meatpacking District, Midtown, or like last year in Soho? No, this year one event stood out for me more than any other. So I was off to the Upper East Side to the Donna Karen Boutique. Meet Bonnie Monroe from MissFabulous.com and it's Fashion Night Out in New York and we're at the Donna Karen Boutique on Madison Avenue where we're going to meet Marissa Berenson who has just released a new book, A Life in Pictures. A designer who truly understands the needs of the modern woman, Donna Karen turns out beautiful collections season after season. Her elegant boutique on Madison Avenue is a testament to her style and her collection of clothing and accessories continue to demonstrate her design talent. The Donna Karen Boutique was the perfect venue for the launch of Marissa Berenson's new book, A Life in Pictures. Dubbed the It Girl by Yves Saint Laurent in the early 1970s, Marissa Berenson is a true supermodel. The granddaughter of the legendary fashion designer Elsa Schiaparelli, Marissa Berenson has been amused at photographers, designers, stylists, and fashion editors. But her talents went beyond the still camera, and she proved herself a brilliant actress as well in such films as Cabaret. Having been photographed by all of the major photographers of the last 40 years, Marissa Berenson's book, A Life in Pictures, is a stunning collection of fashion editorials, magazine covers, film stills, and candid photos that present a visual biography of her fascinating life. Miss Berenson, I am so ecstatic to meet you. I have been a lifelong fan of yours. I actually just introduced you to a, an old assistant of mine, a very young kid, that um, I, by showing him cabaret. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's uh, nice. I was like, you have to know who Marissa Berenson is. Um, as a style icon, um, your grandmother, of course, was a fashion icon. How much influence did she have on your personal style? You know, I think it's in my genes because uh, I was so young and she, when I really, my grandmother had already closed the Maison Couture and I never knew that whole period of her life because it was before my time. Although I was on the cover of Elle magazine my, my sister, with my sister when we were five and six and she made the last dresses that she ever made were for the cover of Elle. Is velvet, uh, ruby colored with huge shocking pink sashes, yeah. So that I have a memory of. And my grandmother was, of course, one of the most elegant women in the world, but she had stopped her fashion life when I, when I was young. And in fact, she kind of looked at whole, our whole period of the 60s and 70s as something that she actually didn't really didn't think was the chicest thing in the world, no. <laughs> She couldn't understand how we could go out looking like it's short, you know, hot pants with all that <laughs> mini skirts. She didn't think it was as elegant as Saint Laurent or Balenciaga, you know? Yes! Oh my God. I can't believe it. If anybody would have oh, a Karen! Last time I remember as if it was yesterday. DKNY fall to the consumer I see. on Thursday. So I have four shows this week. Wow, wow, very packed, very packed. So it's a really packed week. But being able to show the consumer in Lincoln Center is my dream right. to do everybody. That's why I show Urban Zen and, you know, I show Fall and Fall. Yeah. Is there anything you do before? And doing Haiti. Yeah. And showing, and showing the design community the artistry of Haiti. That's really exciting. This is from Haiti. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. So that's why I do Haiti. With Donna Karen's arrival, Marissa Berenson was swept away into a crowd of adoring friends and fans who had all come out for the launch of her new book and to meet this woman who has become a legend in her own right. 
Of course, getting a copy of the book signed by Marissa Berenson in person was a complete thrill. I'm very happy to see that you are overwhelmingly in demand this evening. Thank you. Can you tell me what inspired your book, A Life in Pictures? My life. Well, My life because I've been blessed with knowing uh, this is a sort of a labor of love and an homage to all of these extraordinary people who are part of my life and who really made my life. So it's a homage to all of them, an homage, and I celebrate life and the fact that I've had such an interesting life, that I've worked with the best people, that I've had the best friends and, you know, a great family. And I've worked with the best photographers in the world and filmmakers and, you know, all of it has been so inspiring that it's, uh, you know, it's an homage to all of that. Well, thank you very much. I wish you continued success. Thank you. Um, you're an inspiration to almost everybody I can think of in the world. Thank you so And much. I appreciate all of your work. Thank you. And if you could just sign for me. Enjoy this book forever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.